Hi everyone, my name is Axel Mulat. In this video, let's quick overview on how to promote your blog. For blog successful, you need to get a word out. So we will discuss an effective ways on how to get a word out for your blog. I cannot guarantee this for everyone, but I believe this is an effective ways to gain traffic for your blog. So step one, optimize for search engine or SEO. To get traffic from the search engines like Google and Bing, you need to optimize your posts via keywords. Later in this video, we will discuss where to get a keywords for your blog posts. To optimize your posts, include a keyword in your blog post title, post URL, meta description, and blog content. As you see in this example, these posts are optimized on this keyword days in Hong Kong and the keyword are included to the post title at this example how to spend four days in Hong Kong so this is the keyword are included to the post title days in Hong Kong and also it included to the in keyword URL so as you see days in Hong Kong this is the keyword exact phrase and the meta description, as you notice, the keyword is not included in the exact phrase, but it includes by word, Hong Kong and day. And the meta description, you can include a keyword exact or not, or include a keyword by word, as long as the paragraph or grammar is correct. In this case, the keyword is not included in exact phrase, but the grammar is correct. And also in the post title, you can include a keyword by word or exact phrase as long as the grammar is correct. And take note for meta description. Optimizing meta description with keywords won't improve your search engine rankings based on my research, but it can improve your search engine result click through rate. So use keyword in your meta description will assure user that is this exactly what they're looking for. For beginners, you may wonder where I get this keyword this in Hong Kong. I get this in the google.com suggest and google adwords. So let's browse a demo. So this is the google.com. We will type the keyword. So as you see in the suggestion, there have uh, keywords, four keywords appeared. But this is not finished yet. We will analyze this keyword if this keyword is highly competitive or not. If it's highly competitive, we will do a keyword long tail style in our post title. So let's try to search this. So as you see the result, it is highly competitive because the result is about 100 million. So it's really hard to rank on this exact phrase of keyword. So what we will do, the long tail style keyword in the blog post title. So we will do that later. So let's research this keyword, copy this keyword, and go to googletrends.com. So let's research this keyword if this keyword are very trending. So this keyword are very trending. As you see in the result, it's high. It's used over and over a day in the Google search engine. So let's analyze this keyword in a Google AdWord. In the Google AdWord homepage, go to Tools and Keyword Planner. So paste the keyword here. Days in Hong Kong. And all location, English, Google, and get ideas. So as you see the result, the every monthly searches in this keyword is between two, 100 to 10. And the competition is low in Google AdWord. I believe this keyword phrase is really hard to rank because it is highly competitive based on the search engine. So in this case, I based on the highly competitive keyword based on Google search result than AdWords. And as you see, there are related keywords here based on the keyword we search. This list of keywords listed here is a keyword idea for your new blog post. 
so let's back to the search engine so what we will do this keyword is very high competitive so we will do a long tail keyword style in our post title because this keyword exact phrase is really hard to rank because there have a lot of competition the result is 100 million how about with a budget perfect long tail keyword copy this back how about our title for our blog post is how to spend four days in hong kong with a budget a perfect title with a long tail keyword i believe this post title can easy to rank in google search engine because of a long tail style keyword and also add it in the post url meta description you can add it here remove this or here as long as the grammar is correct so in this case I remove this and also don't forget to add the long tail keyword in the content so be sure you include that keyword in the content so as you see the result it low down to 21 million I believe this keyword can easy to rank my post title because the competition and the search result are low okay so let's see the example number two as you see the example the keyword example is hong kong travel blog and as you see in the title the keyword is not exactly included in the post title but it optimized the keyword in the whole post so the keyword match by word in the keyword so the keyword is hong kong travel blog and it match in the travel blog Hong Kong Hong Kong and travel blog so there have no exact phrase in the keyword in the post but the keyword are optimized in the whole post this is the long tail style keyword so let's try to search this Hong Kong travel blog this is the long tail style keyword because of the competition of this keyword phrase is low if we remove the blog word so it rise to 100 million it's really hard to rank on this keyword so we will add the blog word so this keyword is easy to rank because of less competition don't use a keyword highly competition it's really hard to rank on that highly competition keyword so use this keyword to your blog post title description and blog content you can include it in exact phrase as long as the grammar is correct okay so let's proceed to the next slide blog post content be sure your blog post content is a minimum of 300 words don't get short that's the standard of SAO so I read content with targeting keyword include your target phrase keywords one to three times in text depending the length upon the content don't overthink it don't overdo it so include a keyword in the content one to three times as long as the grammar is correct okay don't over abuse the keyword so number two H tag. H tag is important to the blog content as long as H2, 3 to 6. H1 or H2 for the post title. So let's see the example. So this is the example. This is the H1. How to know this is H1? So in Google Chrome, just press F12 to pop up the developer's tool so this is the developers tool so let's put this in the bottom how to know this is h1 so click this arrow icon let's point to this so h1 tag the title of the blog must be h1 or h2 h1 is fine and the subtitle must be h or h3 so this is the subtitle h3 or h2 you can use h2 if you want as long as the 
blog title is the highest h1 so let's find a subtitle day 2 this is a h3 so this is the example so let's back to the slide <clears throat> 